Good afternoon and welcome to Facebook Live from Hot Shot Secret. This is our 24th episode so far. We will be giving away free product today, so stay tuned for that. And make sure that you post your comments and questions on Facebook so that we can get those answered for you and, and, and try to answer them while we are on Facebook Live. Aaron, what, uh, what do we have for web specials today? Ooh, we have a free eight ounce bottle of FR3 friction reducer that treats five quarts of oil for every order over $99. And we also have our new diesel winter rescue available online for $14.50. And we have a fabulous new gas or deep clean bundle that comes with stiction eliminator, FR3, Gasoline Extreme and Transmission Stiction Eliminator, a $69 value for $50. So with that package, <laughs> if it's if it's not broke, we can't fix it because it's everything's there. I mean, you know, it's so we've got it. That's right. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to our email newsletter for exclusive deals and updates so that you can keep in track in track with what's going on here at Hasha Secret as far as products and so on. And uh, I kind of digress a little bit, but just to make sure everybody knows who we are, I'm Diesel Don Pollock, Aaron Darnell beside me. I'm an account executive here at Hasha Secret, and Aaron is in our R&D department. He's the guy that uh, his boys think he blows up things, so that's, that's what we're it's, into. It's the goal. <laughs> <laughs> it's the goal not to, but that's, that's beside well, yeah. the point. Okay, uh, some newsworthy items here from Hasha Secret. What have you got for us, Aaron? We are working on some specialty products that we will talk more about in a later episode. Um, we also have quite a few secrets on the lubrication specialty side for industrial uses that probably won't make it to this broadcast, but there's a lot of really neat things in the works. The elves are busy right they are and i know you guys are missing kyle and chris right now and you tuned in just to see them but they are in texas at the o'reilly show so don and i get the privilege of being their stand-ins today and in breaking news breaking news breaking news tj big country is coming back to hot shot secret he couldn't stand it being away so he missed all of us and all of you <laughs> He will be back. Okay, we have some authorized Hot Shot Secret dealers across the country we'd like to shout out. Maryland Performance Diesel in Lithicum Heights, Maryland. Dirty Hooker Diesel in Harbor Beach, Michigan. Dragons Diesel Performance in Warsaw, Indiana. G&J Bearing and Supply Incorporated in Toledo, Ohio. MDS Diesel Service in El Cajon, California. Murray's Truck and Auto in San Mateo, California. Simonson Station Store in Grand Forks, North Dakota. And finally, Levi's Car Quest in Moses Lake, Washington. Okay, now we're going to go into the uh, education portion of our episode today, and we're going to talk because it is cold here in Ohio, and we're expecting some snow this weekend, up to three inches or so. So winter has come back upon us, and so we're going to talk a little bit more about the diesel winter anti-gel today. And uh, take it away, you're in. <laughs> okay. Why does diesel fuel gel? Diesel fuel will gel when uh, the paraffin that is normally present in diesel starts to solidify. As, as the temperatures get cold, the paraffin will, if you think of it as a candle, a candle is a liquid when it's hot, it, when it, the flame's burning, and when it cools down, the paraffin in the candle will solidify as well. Similar thing happens there. So at 32 degrees, the wax in the liquid will form and will start to crystallize inside your fuel tank, and your fuel tank will become clouded. You'll look in your fuel, and it, instead of a clear look it's going to have a very cloudy look to it 
and then at 10 to 15 degrees it will finally start to gel and clog the tank and filters. What's happening is this paraffin in there, as it starts to gel, it forms fingers and these fingers start locking on to each other and the more and more of them, it's just like a large Lego set that's building inside your fuel tank and so it starts off with this one little piece and next thing you know you got this big structure, this big piece of, of, a, of gelled paraffin and it is clogging up your filter, clogging up your fuel lines and, uh, and you're not going anywhere. That's right. So how does diesel winter anti-gel help? Our, our diesel winter <laughs> anti-gel additive greatly improves cold temperature performance by preventing this wax from crystallizing in the first place. If, if it won't crystallize, if there's no fingers, it can, won't come together. So we can't, we're, that's what we do, we stop it from crystallizing. It will lower the pore point of the fuel to minus 65 degrees Fahrenheit. That's darn cold. <laughs> Prevents fuel line freeze ups down to minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit as well. And again, that's cold. It will reduce the cold filter plugging point by 20 degrees Fahrenheit. So if the plugging point was say zero, we're gonna drop it down to minus 20 or that type of number. And the anti-gel will also disperse moisture and improves cold starts. It disperses moisture so it's not falling to the bottom of the tank and freezing up the bottom of your tank. And it improves cold starts by adding a cetane boost to the fuel as well, which makes for easier starts of, on cold winter mornings. Yes. And also, diesel winter anti-gel helps like any fuel additive should by adding cetane to the fuel we talked about. It adds lubricity to the fuel. I don't know of anybody else's anti-gel component out there that adds lubricity to the fuel other than the hot shot secret. When we add lubricity to the fuel, and we have uh, an injector cleaner as part of the diesel winter anti-gel as well. This is on the same level as what we have, similar level to what we have with the EDT. It's on a keep it clean level. And uh, just by using winter anti-gel, you're not giving up the benefits of the EDT that you would be using in the summertime. This is the WDT, the winter daily treatment. <laughs> yeah. It adds the rust and corrosion inhibitors and storage and stability yes. additives and the fabulous water dispersant that we have in the EDT as well. Uh, Aaron's going to show us in a little bit here a little bit about Diesel Winter Ant Rescue. It's one of our newer products we have. But say you got caught, you didn't have the Diesel Winter Anti-Gel in, you're, you're gelled up and you're stuck beside the road or you're stuck in your driveway and your truck won't go because your fuel is all gelled up. What do you do now? Got any ideas for us? Diesel winter rescue. There you go. To the rescue. <laughs> to the res yes. What, 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 <laughs> what will the diesel winter rescue do for us? It thaws out the fuel filters and reliquifies frozen gel or gelled fuel so it's only to be used in emergency situations this isn't an everyday product or no. something that you want to run all the time no. it's when you accidentally forget to put in the anti-gel and we know that there's a lot of you out there that will use that type of product on a regular basis but don't do that there are much better products to use Hot Shot Secret Diesel Winter Anti-Gel. I also want to mention that the Diesel Winter Rescue product does not contain alcohol. Alcohol is for rubbing on you for sore muscles or it's for drinking, but it's not for <laughs> cleaning out your engines. <laughs> Alrighty, do we want to do a fabulous demonstration? Yes. Or do we want to keep on trying? No, let's, let's see your demonstration right, on the, the Winter Rescue product, the Diesel Winter Rescue. I know he's not going to drink it. So you know that we're testing with the product right off the shelf. Uh, the 
freezer is set at minus 18 degrees. This diesel fuel has been in here for quite a while, so it's frozen. And it does take a little bit of time to work, but not crazy. Mostly it's the shape of the container that's causing most of the issues. But you can see already if we're down to here, that's froze. It's, it's starting to move. So that'll get you back on track. Fuel line unfroze and you can start your vehicle and get on your way. Just like that. How much, we, we tell them the bottle how much to use per gallon of fuel, right? Correct. It's a, a 32 ounce bottle for 40 gallons to reliquify the fuel. Um, if you have a frozen fuel filter, we recommend taking it off and filling it Half, halfway. Okay. Very good, very good. Right, so there we are, scientific proof <laughs> that our diesel winter rescue product does indeed work and will get you going again see if you are caught with This is gel diesel fuel. fuel. I'm just gonna hold on to it to see how long it takes to, to melt in the 64 degree weather. <laughs> how long are those containers been in the freezer? Um, they've been in since about 10 o'clock when we decided we were doing this product. Okay, <laughs> so that gives you an idea. Here it is, you know, a little after three o'clock in the afternoon. So that product has been exposed to the cold temperature for about five hours. So it gives you an idea of what can happen to your truck or car overnight if it's sitting outside on a terribly cold night of what can happen. You know, in a matter of just a few hours, it's gonna freeze up on you. You know, so keep that in mind that uh, the diesel winter rescue product from Hot Shot Secret, so. Okay, frequently okay. asked questions. Take off my we got a question picture. ready if you guys. Oh, oh, we have a question, yes. okay. So Ethan asks, will diesel extreme cause smoke during uses? Depending on, you know, all, every truck, every vehicle out there has different circumstances and so on. There is the possibility that it could cause some more smoke just by the fact that it's cleaning uh, some extra things out in the pumps, the lines in the tank and so on. And as that, as that stuff burns off, it may cause a little extra smoke. So, and the other thing is, is I use the analogy that anytime you have diesel extreme or stiction eliminator in, Sometimes the vehicle won't run as well as you expect it to while that's in there. It's like remodeling your house. It makes a real, while you're doing the remodeling project, it makes a real mess and everything, but when it's done, it's well worth the mess. With the diesel extreme and the fuel, we're remodeling your fuel system, so to speak. So while it's working, it may, you know, maybe some situations going on, but once it's all done, Great results. Ethan, thank you. That's a good question. Okay. We had a question. Uh, can I use the anti-gel together with EDT? Uh, in a very simple answer, yes. But then you don't need to. There's no need to do that because our anti-gel has the components of the EDT in it as well, the mild cleanser, the keep it clean cleanser, lubricity agents, uh, cetane boost, and a moisture dispersant. All those items are in EDT or in the D-WAG as well. So we like to say that the D-WAG is the winter version of our everyday diesel treatment. That's it. You win. <laughs> you should you should win a prize. Uh, someone asked, I purchased Diesel Extreme. Is this good to use as an anti-gel as well as a cleaner? 
for the winter. I'm in upstate New York. And probably has some uh, winter weather coming this weekend, that's yes. for sure. Uh, the Diesel Extreme is not an anti-gel product. It uh, will help as far as fuel line freeze up and so on, but not gelling. So if you are concerned about the uh, fuel line gelling and the pump freezing, and the gelling and so on, make sure that you use a diesel winter anti-gel component and you can use it alongside the Diesel Extreme if that's a concern you have as well. Uh, that's something you're not going to be doing all the time, so it's not a problem. You could use the D-Wag and Diesel Extreme at the same time to make sure that you're cleaning your fuel system as well as protecting it from gelling. Good question again. Any more live ones from the web? Boy, ask some questions, folks. We like this stuff. All right, we'll go through this one. Someone has a 500-gallon tank that sits outside. Will the anti-gel work for this? It might get as low as 10 degrees below zero at night. Uh, yes, it would definitely work in an outside uh, fuel storage tank. Keep in mind one thing that the diesel winter anti-gel needs to be stored at a temperature above 20 degrees Fahrenheit. If it's not stored at, the, at that temperature, it will freeze up on its own. But when it's mixed with diesel fuel, it's okay down to minus 65. The chemistry involved in the products, the ingredients in the diesel winter anti-gel will allow it to freeze up at 20 degrees. So if you've got your bottle of diesel winter anti-gel in the back of your pickup and it gets, you know, minus 10 or something like this situation, it might be too late. You know, your, your anti-gels froze up, your, your lines are gelled and you're in trouble. So Winter rescue product. But yes, uh, the diesel winter anti-gel would work just fine in an outside fuel tank. Just give it the correct dosage that you need and you'll be all set and you'll be protected. Plus you'll be giving a cetane boost and added lubricity to your fuel as well. Okay, here's one that has nothing to do with the winter formulas. Oh, okay. It is, it's not just winter all the time, huh? <laughs> Apparently not. So, someone asks, they were wondering which product, Hotshot Secret product, would be the best for an older engine that has more than normal oil consumption and higher blow-by. That product would be our Stiction Eliminator if the situation is that it has carbon buildup on the rings. If it has a carbon buildup on the rings, our Stiction Eliminator will clean that up, allow those rings to expand and contract like they're supposed to on that piston and restore that seal of the piston to the cylinder wall. If it's from wear, you know, this, those cylinder walls are just worn, the rings are worn, no, we're not, uh, we're not gonna be able to help you out there, but it's certainly worth a try to give Hotshot Secret Stiction Eliminator a try to see if it is carbon build up on the rings. Try that before you do the expense of a, a new engine or rebuild engine or something of that nature, or, or scrap the poor car out, or whatever it may be. <laughs> Stitch Illuminator would be uh, certainly worth the, tr the try. Okay, we still don't have any questions from out there. I know, you guys are missing Kyle, I know, I know. <laughs> I'm doing my best here. <laughs> In industry news, uh, Polaris just released a new line of diesel-powered UTVs. They're going to be in the $15,000 range. They're going to be called the Polaris, Polaris ah, Pro XD line. And they're powered by a 24, 24 horsepower Kubota three cylinder four stroke diesel, which promises 200 hours of work in between engine maintenance intervals. So the, uh, the diesel market in off road vehicles is heating up. You know, we've got the Rock Sword powered. By diesel now we have the Polaris powered by diesel diesels are going to take over the world I'm telling you we have another diesel sedan coming out soon that's coming out now as we're talking the 2019 Mazda 3 will be available in five different in con engine configurations one being the company's first diesel a 1.8 liter diesel so not everybody's willing to give up on diesels and 
passenger vehicles, so that's a great thing to hear. And just we can spread the diesel word more than ever now. What do we have for web specials? They haven't changed. I thought Levi would make a new one while we were on li live to throw a curveball at us, but <laughs> nothing's changed. Uh, we still have the free eight ounce bottle of Stiction Eliminator with uh, any order over ninety nine dollars, and we have the. Diesel Winter Rescue for fourteen fifty is now live on the website, and the Gasser Deep Clean Bundle, which is Stiction Eliminator FR3, Gasoline Extreme Injector Cleaner, and Transmission Stiction Eliminator for fifty dollars. So, you ought to pick that up if you have a gasoline vehicle. Uh, all right, guys. Before we sign off, Ethan chimed back in. He's asking, will Stiction Eliminator work on a Duramax, on Duramax injectors, because he heard it wouldn't help because of how they're designed. The Stiction Eliminator will not help the injectors on the Duramax. He is correct about that. But what it will do is it's going to clean everything that the oil comes into contact with. Cam, lifters, oil pump, pickup screen, uh, all the rotating parts of that engine that get a burnt on, caked on, sludge oil buildup, the Stiction Eliminator is going to clean that out and allow that engine to operate as it should. We forget that when these pieces get sludge and burnt on, caked on oil built on them, first of all, it slows down the rotation of the engine. I mean, it's just extra weight inside that engine that's trying to rotate and so on. And as it goes through the oil in the pan as well, there's extra drag there. So by cleaning all this out, we're going to free up that engine and allow it to operate much smoother and more efficiently. So he's right. It won't help his injectors, but it'll certainly help his engine. And Again, turbo Ethan, as well. thank, and, and the turbo, you know, we need to talk about that as well because the turbo is the most unloved part of the engine, I, mean, I think. Uh, you know, it's spinning at thousands and thousands of RPMs and uh, exhaust temperatures of, you know, 11, 12, 1300 degrees sometimes in that neighborhood. And then we shut it off and there's no oil going to it, but yet it's still spinning. So this poor turbo is living a, a terrible life. So the Stiction Eliminator will help keep your turbo bearings and turbo shafts cleaned up and allow that turbo to spool up as it should. I hope that answers your question, Ethan. That's all the questions we got. Okay. Oh, we did get through this rather quickly today. I, I guess we're just not as talkative <laughs> as Kyle, I guess. But uh, Kyle, we miss you, buddy. Uh, while we do have a few minutes, I do want to talk about uh, dealers for Hot Shot Secret products. We are always looking for good dealers of our products. Whether you're a, a repair shop, a high-performance shop, a store, a parts store, or whomever. We are interested in talking to you. Give us a call here at Hot Shot Secret. We'd be more than happy to explain the uh, process to you. And uh, we'd like to see if we can get, you know, some arrangements made to have you become a dealer of our products and, uh, and make extra money as well in your business. All right. What do you think? I think we're about done. I think we are too. Unless, unless someone else calls in real quick. Now, Ethan, Ethan said thanks. He'll, he'll try some product out soon. Okay, very good. Good. Yeah, so if you're watching this on Facebook Live, you are probably already liking the Facebook page. But if you aren't, go ahead and click that little like button. Please. It's, it's a good time. And there's always specials and things of that nature and funny little memes that... Levi likes to put up, so it's always worth it's always worth checking out the Facebook page. Then I think we're out. Wait, oh, I don't have a catchphrase like TJ. So <laughs> R and D nerd out. <laughs>